Has Sony finally made the perfect vlogging camera? Let's find out. This is the Sony ZV-1. Comes with a microphone windscreen, micro USB cable, battery, and the camera. And a flip out screen. I've been keeping a checklist for the things that I have been looking for in a vlogging camera, and this camera right here checks almost every single one of those boxes. I could not be more excited to show this to you guys today. Normally these little point-and-shoot cameras are geared towards photographers, but this is one of the first Sony cameras that I feel like they really were thinking about video first, photo second. This screen will also flip the opposite way, so you'll be able to protect your screen when it's not in use. It has a 3.5 millimeter jack input for audio, a micro USB port, and an HDMI out. It uses the NPBX1 battery. This is used in a lot of the RX100 series, so if you have some of these batteries, you're in luck. You guys are gonna witness my first vlog that I'm gonna record, and what I love already about this is the record button is right here where it should be, where you normally would take a photo. There are so many settings that we're gonna go through on this camera, but right now I have it on the steady mode, which gives me a nice field of view. Another thing that I'm loving so far is it has this little hot shoe mount that has a little, well, they call them dead kittens. It's kind of a terrible thing. That's to help reduce wind noise. And this also now has a directional microphone facing forward. So that'll help if you are vlogging and filming yourself that the microphone will be able to pick you up and not everything around you. I can't wait to test out all of these features. So I guess let's get started. Vlogging backwards. Here I go. Vlogging. Steady shot is off. And now let's turn it on. We are now on steady shot standard. Is it smooth? Is it steady? Stable? Just like me? Coming out of quarantine? <laughs> Here's our active steady mode. You can tell it's much more cropped in than the previous two, but is it steadier? I don't know. You be the judge. Well, I'm gonna be the judge because I'm gonna be watching the video and assessing. Feels steady. Wow. Oh my gosh. Product showcase for unboxing and showing products. Watch how quickly it focuses. Oh! Oh, do you want to see my phone? Look at this. Oh, focused. Holy what? This is an optional vlogger kit that you can get to go with your camera. It comes with this Bluetooth tripod remote control and an SD card. This will allow you to wirelessly connect to your camera and control it. You can take photos, zoom, and start and stop recording. This connects to Bluetooth, so there's no cables needed, and it connects very easily inside of the settings. I also like this because it is a little tiny tripod. It will allow you to easily adjust your camera to get the right shot. One of these new settings that I'm really excited to show you guys is called background defocus. Now on most cameras, you would just adjust the aperture so that you can get that nice blurred background. But with this, it's a single button that will adjust the aperture automatically to give you this, a nice blurred out bokeh background. And when I press it again, it turns it off. And when I press it again, turns it back on. And once again, here's what it looks like off. And there's background defocus on. I can't focus right now because it's so bright. My eyes aren't opening. <laughs> I think it looks really good. So far, I am incredibly impressed with this camera. One of the things that a classic I just seen video cannot live without is slow-mo montages. So this does also include slow-mo, but it also has super slow-mo in the high frame rate option. So you can shoot up to 960 frames a second. So slow-mo montage, let's do it. bunch of different color profiles. So you can go into the picture profile settings. There's 10 that are currently programmed into here. So I'm gonna go through all of them and show you guys what those look like and show you some color grading options that you can do with that. The first one to test is with no picture profiles on. Of course, the ND filter is on because it is a little bit bright. So let's, let's do it. Oh, look at it.
here they are all lined up next to each other. This is every single option that is built in into the camera. This is no color grading. And here is with color grading, I went in individually and adjusted each one to the way that I liked it. This will allow you to have so many more options when you're in post. If you do love color grading, then definitely do experiment with the picture profiles. Okay, the sun is still out. I'm emerging from my quarantine cave of editing. I was so blown away by PP10. He's actually shooting at HLG 2020. So it was a different color profile than all of the previous ones, which were Rec 709. So this is giving such a massive dynamic range that I thought originally, oh no, the footage is all overexposed. But no, no, no. We have so much more range in these highlights than any of the other previous clips. So I'm really excited to test out some of these color profiles. As you guys saw, I did kind of line up each and every single one of those. And each one I went and individually graded until I thought it looked good. I'm not the best at color grading. What I do love about color grading is it is an art. So not everyone has the same taste when it comes to what looks good as far as coloring. So to each their own, but this is, this is cool. I don't necessarily mess around with a lot of the picture profile settings because when I'm shooting on a little point and shoot camera like this, I normally just set everything to auto so that I don't have to think about it and my shot will just look good. But with this, this gives us so many more options. Oh, I'm so excited. These are Sarmonic wireless microphones. And what's great about these is you can have the option of getting two transmitters with one receiver. So if my sister and I are outside filming and shooting, we can only have this one little receiver and both of us, Oh my gosh, that's so fast. We'll have these transmitters on, so we'll be able to pick up both of our audio. Let's go back outside and test this out. Ready, Jen? Yeah, yeah. Wow, the focus. It's so amazing. Start it up. Hey, I'm posting a TikTok, do you know? I haven't posted in a couple months, I've been really bad. Me too, because Animal Crossing has basically taken over my life. Same. Right now we're testing out the Sarmonic Blink microphone system. These are pretty cool. This is pretty cool, very convenient. It's a look, I, we're, we're separating. We're separating. So you can still hear us both equally. I'm not separating too far because the dog is an anchor. What is he doing? Sitting. Oh, I gotta put my mask on. I'm not around any other people except Jenna, but mask up, let's go. Making this video has made me really miss vlogging a lot. This camera is incredible. It, honestly, it's just everything works. What's your favorite feature? Well, obviously the screen, but also the multi-interface too. There's so many things. I love the product showcase. I love the yeah, defocus background. The batteries are the same as the RX100 series, which is nice. Yeah, same battery. We're also shooting this right now on the active steady shot. So this one crops in a little more, but since I'm not actually holding the camera, it doesn't make that much of a difference. But if you are holding the camera, I would say just use the regular steady shot. That way it won't be as cropped in on your face. But it's so super steady. How smooth is it? Smooth. Smooth, steady, stable. Is this new feature? Yeah. Oh, pretty cool. Oh, smooth and steady. Bored in the house. And, and I'm in, in the, the house. house. No, we're not in the house. Do you know this also takes photos too? Really? Yeah. Oh, uh, I guess you do need to take a thumbnail. It's windy. This is gonna be a nice test of this windshield. Windshield, ha, huh. what do you know? So we are working on our vlog for this camera. Jenna's also filming hers. So while we were riding bikes, Jenna was testing out the stabilization modes on here. So I'm gonna steal a very small clip of that demo. Thank you, Jenna. It was of you anyway, so I'm gonna be using it too. <laughs> It's really crazy because you have to wear a mask at the beach. You can't actually be laying on the beach, but people are still disobeying and laying on the beach anyway. This is a test of the skin smoothing feature. It's also windy, so I'm gonna be very interested to see how this works out. So right now the skin filter is off, completely off. This is my natural self. Now let's fix it. <laughs> This is skin filter setting of low, and I took my mask off for this, because it's kind of hard to test a skin smoothing feature with a mask on. This is the medium. How does it look? Do I look like I am 12 years old now? 
This is skin smoothing setting high. I look like I just have been brought into the world. I am so fresh faced and new. It's like, hey mom, I'm here. Oh my God, wow. Beauty gurus, take notice. Mask up. Let's continue the video. There are a few things that I wish that this camera had, but I don't want to be too greedy because this checks off almost all of the boxes for what I was looking for in a compact vlogging camera. One of the things that I wish that it did have was an audio output so I'd be able to monitor the audio. I also wish that it would charge via USB-C and I also wish that I could use a larger Sony hot shoe adapter so that I could use XLR microphones on this. I do understand why that doesn't work because those XLR adapters are using the hot shoe and it's powered by the camera. If this did work with that XLR adapter, I feel like that would kill the battery so quickly. So it definitely makes sense as to why that doesn't work with us. This camera is so perfect, so if those are a few of the minor complaints that I have, I shouldn't even be complaining because this camera is so incredible. Also, while editing, I realized I didn't film an end to this video. So here it is, the end to the video. I am in love with this camera. It is really, really amazing, and I cannot wait to take it out, test it out more on Maybe an adventure, maybe not an adventure. Maybe I'll just start using this camera to shoot around the house for some of the tech videos that I do. My sister also made a video about this camera and so did Farouk. I will put their video links in the description because I know for a fact that Farouk's video is going to be incredible. All of his camera reviews and phone review videos are always just so far above and beyond what almost anybody else ever tests out. It's super impressive. So I'll put both of their links in the description box. And with that, I'm gonna go back into my editing cave and finish editing this video, even though for you guys, it's over. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.